Hello. Campers? Here we are again. Sunday night. Sunday night with Terry. <sighs> nice to see so many people in the chat. Obviously, you got my message that I was uh, not doing Monday lunch times anymore because it messes me up at the moment. May go back to it, but probably won't. So, today, we will be finishing the box we did for Dane the other day. But before we do that, we'll bring in Bates Rep. Rep of Bates R. Starting from left to right and bottom, Josephine. Good evening. <laughs> Stephanie. Good evening. Pedro. Good evening. Brian. <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> Limpy. Limpy. Limber. Oh, one, one, one legged Brian. One legged Brian. You know. That's him. Let's hope he gets better soon because he's suffering at the moment. So there we are, team. That's our uh, entertainers for tonight. I'll just put them back. Change that over to there. <clears throat> As you remember last time, Monday, Monday's day, we got that lined up. Look, perfect. Nice and tight, as you can see. And now we've got to shape the outside. We've got to th remember, we put a thread on there to practice. So uh, just to remind you how we practice that or how this thread thing works, I'm going to show you again. I'll show you again. Can you see that? Is that all right? Hang on. Let's just, I'm going to take that over there, bring the light forward a bit, and turn it down onto there so you may be able to see the thread better. Can he? Yeah, we yeah. can see it. Good. Yeah. Grabs thread chasing tool. Just to let you know, when you're threading, uh, that's a fancy new light. 200. No, I've had it for ages. It stands out the way, though. So. It's just Two, dusted up. 250 to 300 revolutions per minute is about the right speed. This, by the way, is a glow force lamp. Blink, brilliant. Hooks in everywhere. Bends around, do what you like with it. And they sold them out. I bought this at the uh, Harrogate show, but they, they were at the other show. But Right, when you hold the tool, nice and light. Let the tool work for you. Basically, I'm not even going to push in. I'm just going to put it in. The tool should walk along the thread by itself. Yeah. Shall I read out who's in the chat? Yeah, all I've got. Hang on. I just, uh, if I go wide a minute, just to show you this. You can see that. I got it. All I'm doing is holding it like that. Look. I'm not even gripping the tool. And you can see I've started the thread. It goes along by itself. So when you start holding it, you just push it lightly, but let it go by itself. And it cuts the teeth. Don't try and, don't try and stop it. Got to be it's de thing. delicate with it. All right. Uh, hang on. I should do that one more time when you can see it close up. Delicate. Okay. I see your thread chair. Same with the inside. Okay, Joe, sorry, carry on. It's okay. Anyway, <coughs> welcome. Good evening. Um, now, I can see in the last couple of minutes the chat's been jumping, so I might miss some people out uh, that were a bit earlier on in the Get your chat. excuses in early, Joe. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to uh, trim this up a bit. So, we have we have Michelle Oosby, Grandma Roof Tube, Swiss Susie the Swiss wood turner. Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round. Door 60. William Guinea. Norman Greenwell. Wayne the wood turner. Todd at Glencove Woodworks. Let's get rid of the thread at a minute. Yeah. Tim Sparrow Braces UK. Hi, Rob. I'm taking very light cuts here. Because, of course, the, uh, the thread might Ooh, tighten up too much. Too much on itself. So, right on the bottom bit. Barry's Wood Creations. Barry? Robert Brosswood. <coughs> Paul Finley, Wood Turning at Home. Ivy Woodshed. Grim 
Oh, he's still jumping. Oh, height in the Greasy Turner. Andy the Valleywood Turner Bundy Row. Colin at Turn Links. Oh, he's the boy. One of the ear women is definitely making some strange noises back there. Tess Johnson. <laughs> That's Glenn, isn't it? You talking about the parrot? Something's chirping no. away. I thought it was Glenn. Uh, not yet. Kevin, nine care creations. Oh, no, it's that little gringo thing. Douglas Tungham. Eric Winkler, Brian Green, Greenhaven Creations. Callum Turn. Well. Eric Winkler. James Crawford. Who's making that row? I don't know. Joe Garuffalo. We'll get there eventually. Doing cutting and stuff. And... I just cut a bit of paper. I might, you might have heard that. A bit. <laughs> Is that you? You ought to get. Evening, Jim. Now, that's it, as far as I can. And I'm going to have to apologise to Douglas Mungham. Why? We get him last week. No, because when I clicked to do the chat, it ended up t t taking him out for a... Oh, you put him on a timeout. I'd lose yeah. his job, wouldn't we? Sorry, Douglas. Can't get the staff these days when you do. They're not very useful. <laughs> <laughs> so I do apologise to Douglas. I'm hoping it will all write itself in the end. And that... Well, he only cried for a week. Well, he's in. He's yeah. in. He's okay. He's just yeah. commenting in the chat at the bottom there. He says, "Not again." No, oh, obviously <laughs> she's done it before. There could uh, be a thing. Have... God, this could be a thing, <laughs> Douglas. TF turning. It was. It's been terrible tonight. Jumping in, yeah. and that. And you've got fifty-one people watching. Oh, well done, everybody. Thank you for coming in. And... It's fifty-three on my screen. So you should say that, Douglas. She did say that before the live started. <laughs> what was that? She don't like me. Ah, that's probably oh, what it Matt is. Oh, the then. gentleman would turn her in as well. Hi, Matt. I'm trying not oh. to take too big a cuts here because this is all done on the thread only. I don't want to, I don't want to tighten it up too much that it starts to strip the thread away. And just one more thing from myself while... Um, Terry's um, turning days. It was lovely meeting uh, everyone at Newark over the weekend. Thank you for making yourselves known. I wouldn't know. That's different what you said when we landed, when you went to go, is the miserable lot. We're going early, you said. Do you know, you were a wind up merchant. <laughs> well, you know. There we go. That's looking lovely. Do you all want to finish on this or not? No, I don't think so. No, I. Hi, oh, Stephen. Stephen Wood, dude. Question: Why, Terry? Why haven't you finished this project yet? Have you been out of town all weekend? Hello, Stephanie. I have. Talking to people like you. You got home, men, from the pig farm. Stephen stayed oh. in the pig farm all weekend. Yeah, till Monday. Roy the boy's got his new Jabra headset that arrived today. Oh, Roy, well He's done you. using it now, he says. Ooh. That'll be well, great. Well done, right. When's the live show starting? Yeah. <clears throat> I am currently drinking the Zoom bar that, that uh, Roy brought up to the show for me. <coughs> oh, he's far too good to you. Just looking on shape here. That needs to be coming around a bit more, yeah? What's the wood again, um, Terry? 
Mapam, uh, Mapani, Mapani. That's it. That's it. I forgot. Benjamin's in. Mapami. <laughs> Mapami, isn't it? Someone else? Got M or yeah. N? I can't remember now. Yeah, M. 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 Mapami. There's um, no R in it. There's no R. That's right. Stephen Miller just joined us. Good evening, Stephen. Stephen? Evening, Stephen. Yep, Colin has just put it in. It's Mopan E with an E, but it can also be pronounced uh, Mopan E with an I. Either or uh, works. Yes, on, on Google it does. I'm just playing with shapes here a minute, thinking maybe I'll like in, it or not. Uh, in the uh, Wood database, it shows both names. Right. So don't be fighting over it, boys. It's either an I on the end or an E on the end. Whatever it is, it's really hard. It's lovely to turn, mm -hmm. and it's um takes a thread well. And it's pretty as well. And it's pretty. Norman, Green, it? Norman Greenwell has got his AWGB <laughs> membership yesterday. Yeah. Did you, Norman? Well done, you. Well done, Norman. <laughs> that was a few. Hopefully, that got it. Um, Steve said, or Steve in the wood dude said, just called Barney. Barry's using it. <laughs> oh, what's Ben said? Does anyone know where you can buy stub sized cobalt drill bits? I'm looking for half inch diameter. Any decent engineering supplier, I'll yeah, say yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. any, any decent engineer should. That's why you use that cobalt. Is that weird? Isn't that nice? Very pretty. Wonder if I should Jennifer's keep that lid that shape. I think I might actually. I think. I like, I think a, I like a little. I like the little lips on the top. That's nice. Good evening, Jennifer. That all right? You like those little two bits on the top? Hmm, That's good. Yeah. 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 Evening, nice Jennifer. Sap it, done then. Sap it. I bought right. one of those lights yesterday. They're good lights, aren't they? Yeah, they're magic lights. They're rechargeable. They I mean, they're supposed to last like 15 hours, but I'll find this one only lasts about 10. So it might be that I'm not recharging and charging it enough, you know. They told you know me I mean? yesterday, seven hours on full power, 15 on half power. Oh, that's what it is then. Right. I'll probably I'll, get about, I'll get about two to three hours out of them. Oh, that's probably okay then. Um, so I leave, I even plugged into a USB charger all the time. Well, can, you, can you use them when they're being charged? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. But you need a two amp charger. Don't go for a now cheaper one. You need a high high amperage one. Oh, okay. Um, two amp charger, and they will run with the charger in, and then I can turn all day with it. Right no. Mm -hmm. What size bit did you want, Ben? Half inch, did you say? Yep. Messing about with this, see if I like a like the shape at the bottom as well. I don't know. What do you think? Bit fun, isn't it? There's no overhead. Oh, we can't see what you're doing, oh sorry. Yeah. yeah, you should have told me that a long time ago. Well, we've told you now. Not good enough. Not good enough. I think I prefer a flowing curve rather than a sharp edge. I don't like that sharp edge. Flowing yeah, curve, don't like isn't that. it? Don't like no, that don't sharp like that, edge no. at all. Okay. I was going to cut right into the middle there then, but now I'm not going to. I'm going to get rid of it. Well, that's it's not feeling very good on the edge. Flowing curve then. Flowing curve. 
Many thanks. Try lowering it now, eh? Think. <laughs> the wood dude says, Terry. Yes, Stephanie. I'm sure about, I'm sure about the shape of, of your bottom. <laughs> Steve, I'm starting to worry about you, Steve. <laughs> Just gonna stand that a minute, see what it looks like to me. Okay. Find some glass paper now. There we are. What's that like? There. Bits and pieces. Showing your showing your age there now, buddy. Glass paper. Yeah. Well, I was um brought up in the uh, I don't know long ago. Yeah. Times. That long ago you can't remember. Drop a link in the chat for you, Ben. One I've used in the past, and it's been pretty good. Eighteen twenties. Well said, Stephen. Well, see that, late, that late nineteen twenties. No, it'll be early nineteen twenties. <laughs> 22 probably at the roots. I thought it was earlier than that. Mm. <laughs> Carmel Tube says, Stephen, he is quite old. <laughs> <laughs> For those that really yeah. want to know, I'm 71 years old, nearly 72, going on oh, 48. 22 years, 26 years experience. What am I looking for now? 180? Do you feel Here's 20? Me. Do you feel 72? No, no of course I don't. Because he's he's supposed to feel like he's never been 72 before. No. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. <laughs> Joe, sometimes I don't feel anything. This is oh, true. Bless you. <laughs> That's a tragedy. And sometimes I feel steady. I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she's off again. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, Stephen's right. 71 going on 17. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that, Steve. Nothing wrong at all. It was good yeah. to hear talk to you, Stephen, the weekend. Um, you know, to realise you had done hardly anything in your life, you know. <laughs> Good to find that out. You wasted it away, bumming around the world. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Wish I could have done that instead of having to work. It just wasn't your destiny. It wasn't. Destiny. Our destiny is to meet the gorgeous Ruth. I did. <laughs> can't see in there. Well, I can't see there. It's getting in there a bit. Round that off a bit so I don't cut my fingers or anybody else's. Like that. What's after that? One eighty. <laughs> 240, got to find some of that now. Oh, here we go, let's have a look at this. Have you still still not organised that <coughs> sanding station yet? No, I've got a box. For, well, no, to, uh, what I did is I took it to, I took this lot to um, Newark because I was actually demonstrating up there on the wood turners thing. And of course, I got there and it all got moved about and messed up and everything. And, and then, uh, <laughs> you know, you know how it goes. It's all chucked hey, in the box. Yes, I came home last night. Ruth and Ruth and I had to go out for lunch today at the local pub with Colin. Yeah, but that was that was that was about four hours ago, Terry. 
<laughs> um, no, after that, we went to a garden center to have a little ponder around and oh, go for coffee and a cake because I wanted a cake. I said, I'm not a lovely piece of apple pie with cream. Doug, so I didn't Douglas want any says, so, by the way, tea, you see. Douglas Mung have just said, I'm back. back. I hope he didn't miss much. Lost his, he lost his signal. <laughs> Get rid of him, Joe. Get rid of him. You know the rules. <laughs> now, That's my fault. Who you miss, Douglas, is uh, Terry whinging about his age. Yep. Which yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Losing his sandpaper with his spanner. <laughs> Some of the, like the elusive spanner. I'll find it. I'll yeah, find it somewhere. It is. It's either here or I've tucked it out with a shaving years ago. You know, weeks, months ago. Which is a pain. Oh, never mind. Good done. Oh, look at that, shall we? Look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. Mm. So, Mark in the green there? Yeah. Bit of worm. So, bit of worm? Or, no, it's not worm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something. It, it's something in the green. That's it. Yeah. yeah. The white. I don't know what it is. Might go when you wax up. Yeah, it may well do. Right, that's. Uh, there we are. Look at that. Hey, eh? coming on granular at this moment in time. Grandma Ruthie has just said uh, the spanner oh. is under my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> this is so I can stop Terry snoring. Don't Good work. Ah. It doesn't work, Ray. Switches off. Switches off that. Gets that. Gets this. Shakes that thing up. And uh, the wood dude wants to know, Terry, what colour is that bit of wood going to be? Black and yellow, maybe? Oh, yeah, it could yellow. be. <laughs> could be. I, I know somebody else is really good at that. Uh, I don't know if he's in tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, well he's he's in the pub. Oh, he's in no. the pub. Oh, that's right then. Oh well. He's he's still up in Midlands. He's teaching tomorrow. So. Is he really? Oh, he's still up with Derek, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Good man. He's teaching today and coming back tomorrow. I don't know. He was teaching anyway. Derek's got a nice little setup there, actually. Yeah. Really has. It's a lovely little um. Well, not little. It's a, it's a nice stables. workshop in, in old stables. It's really, really lovely. It's all sort of... Uh, mm. Well, when you go into somewhere, you think, oh, it's nice and cosy in here. And then you walk from one bit to the other. And he's got his, his shop, which is nice. And then you go to the next bit, yeah. which has got his lathe and his band. So he's got his band. So, and then and processing bit. And then the next one, he's got his uh, lathe and all his tools. And that. Wood store is lovely. Terry? Yes. Oh, here we go. I, I didn't what, think what I didn't that, got. What's that noise in the background right now? It's Steve's printer. It's not. I ain't mean, got nothing going. All right, it's not your printer then. It's not me. It's definitely Steve. It's definitely Steve's. I don't know don't what be. it is then. Just mute yourself for a second, Steve, and come back. Yep. Definitely Steve's. I don't know what it is then, because there's nothing going on in the computer beside me. And that's not that noisy. Eric, Eric Winkler wants to know. Uh, what uh, type brand of chuck can can, can fit yeah. a mini mini lathe with a one inch shaft? Uh, well, they'll all fit if you get the right thread from yeah. manufacturer. You get uh, like uh, you know, it's only a small mini lathe, you know, an SC an SC two chuck with a one inch. Uh, the SC two doesn't come with an adapter, but the SC one does. SC one does. Well, the if you can buy, buy um, can you buy, buy uh, adapters for every lathe for every chuck? You know, some of them have got these, um, you know, they're actual threaded extras, aren't they? Which takes the chuck off the lathe, obviously, mm -hmm. from a bit farther. But some of them, uh, they'll they'll do the chucks to suit whatever you've got, won't they? Yeah. You know, they'll do a chuck of like Axminster do chucks of M33, and they also do 1.1. 1 .1 
<coughs> one inch by eight and you know so forth. Yeah, you so should forth. be able to buy an adapter for any lathe for any chart any you lathe. should yeah i'm gonna find yeah. be able to get a m33 down to one inch it should be it should be able to depends on what you you know what you want it for of course if it's a mini lathe you won't be doing much on it so an adapter is not going to worry is it? as such um, right somebody mute joe <laughs> as a few pity can be soft <laughs> as your face. Ben Jammer's now running for the door. Too late, Ben. Run for hills, lad. Run for hills. Run, run for hills. <laughs> I'll be show you that for a minute. Is that side for a minute. I could put a little bit of a bit of texture in there, can I? With some embellishing wax in. Could do. Make it look good, wouldn't it? What do you think? I think it looks nice as it is. But it could look better. Yeah, it could <clears> look better. <throat> you think? I bought some Sonya's of the Joe's paints yesterday. You know, Wang's banging on about them all the time. And I saw Joe up there and I said, Look, my mate Clasper's giving me deck shit, etc. I said, He's just on and continuous so i'm here give me a set of paints she said what would you like i said all of them i'm going to get a blast if i don't so she <laughs> said well yeah wayne is a good friend of mine i said i know he said i can have 50 percent discount she said he isn't that good <laughs> isn't that good a friend <laughs> alan gibb and wood turning with barry have joined us hello we're turning to barry alan Oh, you? Yeah, I noticed them there. There's just quite a big range of them, isn't there? Mm. What? Joe Sonia? All the different colors. Yeah. Not the iridescent, yeah. but I mean. They do a lot of different paints. Mm. Yeah, very nice, though. I mean, I'm obviously I'm using them yet, but I just put them back in the cupboard tonight when I got in. Right, but I've yeah. just looked up record power thread adapters, and they do uh, a one inch by eight TPI right. adapter that will fit both the um sc1 which is a small chuck or the sc4 which is a four inch chuck that's good same adapter fits both so uh that's a way forward yep i think charm would also do the same the same range of adapters so um the charm would chuck if you want something cheaper cheap chucks aren't always a good thing no, no, it's true. When when the wood turner says the pearlescent paints are gorgeous, mm. I was looking at them yesterday. I haven't got any of them <clears throat> yet. Well, it could be a could be a, a free pearlescent coming your way then, Wayne. Ben Jamin says I don't need to drill any drill bit anymore. <clears throat> Joe's singing just melted the steel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ben, you're terrible. Oh, Brian, you're terrible. Why? I want to read it out. <laughs> oh, exactly. I'm supposed, to I'm supposed to do that, but it's my job. Yeah. There we are. I mean, yes. I've, Kevin's, just put Joe, Joe, Kevin's just put Joe Sonia who told me not to buy small tubs as they dry out, so I never bought any. Oh, I'm the, I can't say that. I've had Joe Sonia for ages. As long as you seal them back up, yeah, they're really. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wayne's gone on to say, Kev, I have the small one and they haven't dried out. Yeah, so, uh, I've had mine for nearly yeah. two and a half, three years and they're yep. still fine. <laughs> I'm wrong. AGK uh, Woodworks is in. Good evening, Wendy. Hey, Good evening. Colin, uh, Colin from Turn Links wants to know Does anyone know the name of the firm in Scotland that sells the inch quarter by eight TPI nuts? <laughs> Oh, I mean, you can get them pretty much anywhere to be honest um go on ebay or whatever and just put that in and you'll find them they're they're, they're used on heavy plant machinery they're used on old tractors bit of amateur um, so that's the sort of place to be looking it's quite a common size inch and a quarter by eight yeah rub dub dub Douglas Mullingham says, uh, <clears throat> it's a question for the chat. Have you all signed up for Martin's uh, Hampshire Sheen tutorials yet? 
Nope. Everybody should be. Nope, yet. I have. I was fortunate to be one of the testers of the website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is brilliant, actually. It's it got is. a lot of hard work into it. I'll tell you something. If you if you can't get a good finish after doing that academy course, and it you can there's no payment to do it, and it's easy to do. You just got to sign up to, as free. one of as one of um, Amsher Sheen's customers. You don't have to buy anything. You've got to sign up to say you're, you're part of him, the part of the website, and you'll get all the lessons for free. And if you can't get a good finish after that, well, I'd give up word turning. <laughs> I'll take a production uh, turning. I'll take a production turning because you only got to you, you only got to go to two hundred and forty grit for spin dudes and things. So. Yeah, one eighty. Like, yeah, because I paint them, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't put much decoration up in my workshop, but I do have uh, Martin's excellence in finishing certificate framed and hanging on the wall. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah it's there under the I, dust somewhere. I didn't frame mine. Mine's I, in the drawer I've done, somewhere. I've done the course, but I didn't get a certificate. Because we had to print it ourselves. I did the first course he did, so it was um, you, you, a smaller I'm number of people. Yeah. Mm. Grandpa, Grandpa Jim's, Jim's in. Oh, Grandpa Jim had a devil. Oh, Jimmy. Snap. Right, so that's our bit done. Uh, I will put a link up now if you want. Just, just let that dry for a sec. Then. Let's just right, drive for a minute before I do any more. a link up for the tutorial page, and Steve's about to do it. And we're hoping it's nearly dry yet. Yeah, so well, it's going to give a lovely to, shine. All you need to do is go over to www.hampshiresheen.com and follow the link. So just go in there and click on the Hampshire Sheen Finish Academy and just click on the link and follow the link through. You need to put, add it to your basket and then ship it Buy out, it. and it then you you, won't cost you anything. And then um, you will be sent a welcome email, and you'll be able to go through the courses. You need to do the health and safety course first, though, so make sure you do that first. You do. Yeah, Martin is excellent at explaining how to use his finishes, and uh... exactly. And he spent a lot, a lot of time doing it. So should we, we should really all be grateful to him as well. He spent. Utterly months doing it, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. So there ain't any other manufacturer out there who does it for their product for their customers for free. No. Ooh, shiny. Very nice. White mark, yeah. a little tiny white spot still there, isn't it? Yeah, I know you're that. See, yeah. must be in the grain, must not it? Yeah, but it's, it's, um... it, it is in the grain there. Let's see it. Hmm. It's part and parcel of it. For some reason, it might be a bit of, you know, rotting or something. You know, like got in it. Yeah, yeah beginning of spalting or something. It's not. Um, <clears throat> it's not an issue, to be honest. Oh. Give it a clean out in there. Now, Grandma Roof Tube's got a question for you, Terry. Oh, God. Do you want yeah, your carrot no sugar, cake... Roof. <laughs> Do you want your carrot cake bun that Bex made? Yes, Just please. Just a man and... it's to die for. Just can I have a cup it. of tea as well, please? That Ruth, he just said, no, he doesn't uh, want it. You can have his as well. Ruth's, Ruth's probably, her, uh, probably in her... In her um, whatever suit tonight, so she won't. I won't put her on camera. She brings me tea out. I just uh, grab it off her. She's going to give us another buff now because I've got my fingerprints all over it. Nice and gentle. <laughs> nice light touch. At that. That's stunning. There. That Hampshire Sheen wax is a favourite with us on uh, yeah. lives mm. because it yep. 
it's almost instant drying and then it's just it's all, yeah so Perfect. hopefully now we just screw it back on spin it up and it lightly lock it not you know hammer it tight there it is look find it lovely 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 the leech is in there's the other way robert brought there's the other one there. Robert Brockwood says that carrot and cake shouldn't be said in the same sentence. Oh, totally you, you ought to taste it, mate, I tell you. Carrot, oh, cake, carrot cake is nice. Right, I'm going to leave that ten and on because I'm going to uh, polish this a few more times yet. I might even lacquer it. So what are you going to do for the next 20 minutes? Well, I was hoping you'd like to come up with an answer. but Well, I think you can take that one out of the chart. That's what we're going to do now. Make another one. Where are we? There we are. There we are. There. Cool. What do you think, everybody? Thumbs up, answers on a postcard, whatever. Stunning. What's that Very bit? Nice. Very nice. What over there? Yesterday. Oh, my troubles seem so far away. I bought one of these. Free ex uh -huh. with the ferrule. That needs a handle, mate. Needs a handle. Yeah, make handle. a handle then. Well, I've got to find a bit of timber to make a handle with. Yeah. So I haven't looked earlier. I haven't, honestly. So I don't know what I'm going to use. Uh, use a just... nice bit of you. Oh, I've got a bit of you here somewhere. How about that? Or just... what about a bit of um, um, laburnum? And you got a big stick of laburnum lying about there from. Look at that. That'd be perfect. Do you want it? It's a spindle guy. You don't need a long handle, is it? No. Spindle gauge. Probably look about an eight inch handle for that. Yeah, I was thinking about ten because my you know, way I ordered it, but yeah. Yeah, fair enough, ten. So spindle gauge sits there. Allow to clean up. That much to clean up. That much in the oh. gauge sitting out about an inch from the inch and a bit from the end, so we can see the Ashley R's name. So go to there. An inch under there, I reckon, don't you? Yeah. Perfect. Perfection personified. Right. That's what I'm doing now. Perfection. That's just not That's... the spanner off the shelf. Yeah. Right, I'll just go and cut that on the van saw a sec. There is a split on that end, but I will be all right. Right. Can't show you the van saw because I've not got... Right, the right, boy says, question, question, is the box with... Boxwood big enough. Oh, that Boxwood, Roy. Roy gave me some Boxwood, people. Absolute gentleman. And uh, it is just wonderful. I'm certainly not going to use it to make a handle. <laughs> <laughs> it's too uh, good for that. I should be making it. I know Pete made an handle with Boxwood once because that's all he had in his hand. But I'm not going to because I'm going to use it for thread chasing. I've got a demonstration coming up for thread chasing um, at clubs and that. So... I'm going to use it for inserts for that. So right, right. Find the middle. The day, your tool handles are in your it. hands all the time. You might as well make yeah. them nice. One nice bit uh, of you, right, wouldn't it? Yes, Douglas, I do see your question. I'll ask it in a minute. <coughs> Douglas wants to know. Yep. How are you going to finish the bottom? Oh, what? Ah, oh, sorry, Douglas. Share. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, where's my box? <coughs> right, there we are. Douglas, where are we? Uh, there we are. So I should take that off. Put a piece of wood in there. Screw that in. Finish the bottom. It's called a threaded chuck. Yeah. Malcolm Douglas is in. Hi, Malcolm. That's what I shall do. Evening, Malcolm. I want to get it. I want to get it right, Douglas. I've got a few more polishes and. Whatever, so and I might even lacquer it in. I don't know. I might, I probably won't. But I might. You've got uh, right, which way do I want this going? Watching, Terry. There. Oh, Sammy, too. You're absolute stars, all of you. Coming in and see me work. If you lacquered it, would that not affect the the joint? Because you'd have to thread out, you'd have to lacquer over where that's jointed, wouldn't you? Well, probably what I'd do is, uh, yeah, 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 that's a point. Is she? I'd just it, polish it. Take the thread yeah. before you do any lacquering. Yeah, I think I'd just polish it. Roy the boy wants to know where you're doing the threading demo. Um, well, take that chuckle, I don't need that. 
Uh, don't know, really. I had a... Actually, the chuck has come out of here. Like, where did that happen? That's talking, so you should wind in it. Oh, look. <laughs> Super right precision in. chuck. <laughs> no, yeah, I was yapping. I wasn't thinking, and I just carried on winding it out. Never mind. Out past where I should have been. It's getting excited, right? Yeah, take that jaw out. Let's close that jaw up till it comes in. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Somewhere, where are you, Brutus? At Doom Brutus. No, oh, I mean, found it. Yeah. On SK114, then it would have carried on winding out without a problem. It would have done. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got to go out two more turns now. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it there. I do leeches in, and uh, you can add an extra two. Wife and uh, mother-in-law are here watching too. Good old mother-in-law as well, eh? Get on, you lucky people. Is that one so obviously nothing on, nothing on the telly on a Sunday night, then? No. That's why Mike Walt does a Sunday, because there's nothing on the TV. Yeah. He's not so soft. Captive audience. audience. He's not audience. so soft, is he? He's not daft. I think that still might be too big if I come into there. So look. What are you doing? Oh, that's better. I'm trying to get this. The jaws to line up. Sorry, right, got it now. I unscrewed. I was yapping away. I unscrewed too far. I thought this might have gone in there, but it doesn't. So no, that's not a problem. It will do when I finished. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll just stick it between centers as heck. And then. I'm uh, just giving you a thumbs up, Terry, because I thought, wow, the old duffer is trying. I'm not. So I'm very trying. Being very, very trying. Very trying. Very <laughs> trying. <You're> right. <laughs> well, that goes on there. Find center. But there's quite a few people that haven't given me a thumbs up yet, so you're not trying enough. Oh, yeah. You I've know, got, got my screen is really 29 thumbs up. They will. They're just embarrassed to press it in case somebody notices. Let me, uh, let me but, just refresh know, my page. Move that out of the way. Bring that up there. God, I was hoping that's going to take me all evening to do. And then I go and do something stupid like finish it early. Terry, I've got two and a half more beers yet. Oh, okay. Got ages. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the cup of tea to arrive and the bun. Yeah, as one. you're sort of covering the weekends, uh, the Sundays that Mike isn't doing, yeah. your lives have got to be at least four hours long. Four? Yeah, you're covering four. Well, Mike. that's what Mike does. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Oh, blimey, hang on a minute. I forgot that too. Hang on, hang on a sec. Where am I? Wait. Oh, God. Good evening, Douglas. <laughs> Good evening, Andrew. <laughs> Alan Gibb, welcome. Susan so the Swiss Returner. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Don't you be stunned. That's, that done. <laughs> That's what Mike does for about five hours. And then yeah, say, should we, should we read the chat out? No, too late. Mike's done all that. He does, he does start 10 minutes early to do that. So. <laughs> oh, God. He does, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and you started ten minutes late, so I mean, I, yeah, just no. Look, yeah, well, I, I started ten minutes late because I didn't want to start reading all the chat, did I? Because Joe would cry. You know what she's like? Hey, she'd have cried her eyes out. I want to do the chat. You mean you stop me doing that? <laughs> yes, dear. No, oh, dear. Right, is it already carry on now, Pete? Oh, yeah, get on with it. No. no. Don't you want to crack another beer or anything, yeah? No, not quite yet. Okay. I can't crack, I can't crack a beer until the 18th. Ah. Uh, the beers be are time for the half hour, Terry. You're not used to this evening stuff, so... Let's get rid of this, mate. Nice, nice, nice and round. Well, the wood did give you a thumbs up, but it's just out of sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Mark Gentleman would turn and says, Is Terry going to be the new Alan Bassey of thread chasing demos? Oh, I thought you were good at that. It's a bit Marcus, of a, a, bit of a name No, I'm not going to. I'll tell you what, though. Alan's the one to watch. You go and watch his program is his, his, his videos his youtube videos man is a genius 
bit rough there, because that not that's all right. I'll get them in a minute. Um, man's a genius. Yeah, but is I'll he learn from him. Lots of people learn from him. But is he invincible? Let's see. That's the thing. Hmm. <laughs> Stephen says. Stephen the Wood says, "I'm going to crack a beer." It's the only way to watch this. All right, let's get that one out and see if that fits. beer goggles. Well, I still haven't cracked my wine open, but there's a distinct Aww. possibility it won't You last. haven't? No. Yeah, it won't see Monday, I can guarantee it. <laughs> don't tell don't tell Glynis where it is. Yeah, you're going well, to crack that because it might be already empty. <laughs> yeah, he might have put the cork back in without you knowing. Kevin yeah, 9K says, careful, Terry, or I'll show them your demo dibber from yesterday. Oh, I don't mind that. It took me about 30 seconds to turn that. So, Roy's so asked somebody went, bought me a bottle of vodka for doing <laughs> get my wrists form. working. So, <coughs> yeah. Roy's and asked the question, will that gouge not fit in a Simon Hope handle? I suppose uh, it no, will. it's... Um, well, yeah, if it, I, don't, I don't like Simon Hope. I ain't got any Simon Hope handles here. Don't like them. Sorry, yeah. Simon, but I don't. They're too bulky. Yeah, They're too bulky and big. I hate the things. Douglas has asked an interesting question there. He says, is Laburnum strong enough for turning tools? Douglas, if you're Burnham. making the tools, then um, if Burnham, you should great. be able to use both the wood for turning tools because you should not be holding them that tight. You should not no, be fighting you, that hard. You hold them yeah. gently. That's what you do. And Laburnum is plenty strong enough. In fact, you tr anybody turn Laburnum here? I'll turn Laburnum. Yeah. It's blinking hard to turn. It's quite hard of wood. Drops out of there. I lost my tree expert. Laburnum. What are, yeah, Laburnum. Let's have a look here. Laburnum. What's normal yeah. handles made out of it? Beach or uh, ash. Beach or beach ash, ash, yeah. Is popular. Yeah, so. I've got um, a piece of ash here as well, I see. But yeah, no, Laburnum's hard wood. Nice hard wood to turn. Lovely to turn as well. But. I lost my friend, William. He'll tell me. William. Oh, the wood yep. guru. I use... Um, Laburnum is extremely hand hard, hand hard um, says. It is right hard. It's gorgeous stuff, too. Get a nice finish on that. What the hell's oh, that? Just got a little vacation. Hmm. Oh, I've got a handle here in Lacewood. I've got another one in Box. I've got all sorts. Yes. Uh, yeah, Beach and Ash is quite common. Hickory, yeah. if that's your uh, native timber, is a great tool handle. Did you hear that, Terry? I did. Cool. I thought he was just trying to sort of, you know. It's actually eight minutes early, but I was. Uh, I thought that. I thought he's drinking too much. <laughs> this early. Yeah, well, Glenn, Glenn got me into bad habits one Friday. Yeah. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> he led me astray. <laughs> he led you astray. Well, who led you astray later on? Um, Dan. Well, that would have been Pat Carroll and Dan and. Um... Yeah, that wasn't that was Pete's fault though. That wasn't Pete's fault because he had nothing to do with that. No, I, I was just keeping up. Yeah. Oh, what? That's all he was doing, keeping up. Uh, right, do I need to move that at all? Yeah. Sort that out, isn't it? Yeah, at the end of the day, tool handles are supposed to be held lightly. So uh, I did see some at the show, actually. It was um, parsing tools with cork handles on them. Oh, wow. And I thought, yeah, that's probably gone a bit too far. Hmm. Yeah, just trying but, to get a um, nice little... Oh, and put that away. Most of the strength of a handle actually comes from the ferrule anyway. So you're talking about a piece of brass that's holding it all together. Copper, if you can't find the, the half dozen yeah. barrels you bought at the last show you were at. <laughs> <laughs> I think you bought five or six barrels this this week, didn't you? I bought another Pete? six this one, this one yeah. I bought that's, just so that, that's, that's just that, so you can use the one you wanted to use and then find the other 17 years at, later. At the moment, I haven't lost them, but it is okay. only one day after. Don't put them with your the <laughs> Right, uh, Right, I've got to find the... Make sure the outside diameter is probably a half inch, and I'll have a half inch thing. It'll be too blinking small, won't it? Mark made a good point. Do you want to drill the hole right now? 
I'm going to. That's why I've just put the chuck in before, Mark. Chuck. He just said, never mind, you are. Looking for a drill. And that is... Oh, that's... Tw oh, I bet a 13 mil drill should do it. You've not got very near. I have, but I can't bother to get them out. What's that there? Oh, yeah, yeah, but they're next to the spanner. Yeah, <laughs> probably. It's 10 mil. Damn, I've got to go look for a drill now. Drill bit. Wait, 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 wait one, people. Wait one. Wanders over. They drill bits. See if that fits. Do you um, epoxy the 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 chiselling as well, or the gouging as well? I'm going to, yeah. Yeah, I should, oh, should you epoxy do, it do in. You? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. I, was just yeah. I never do that. No, no. Oh, well, no, because, uh, because that drill piece, uh, the uh, actual tool, is 12 and a half mil diameter and Drill bit is uh, is thirteen mil, so yeah. You know, what so I would be good. more inclined to do is use a twelve mil and, and then soak it. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't got the time for that, then, Pete. Then you force it on and <laughs> let it dry, and it holds. Then you can get it off easy if you ever want to change it. Right. How far do we want to go in? I uh, switch that on. Zero that Kevin Dunkay's made a good point. He says, I'd drill a hole in a scrap bit to see if it's the right size first. Well, I'm just going to drill this in a little way and try it to make sure I'm got it wrong. I want that much there. So, pencil. Yeah, pencil, pencil. Get your hand off the thing, Tar, so you can see it. There it is. That far. So, we got to have it as 30 mil. 30 millioroid meters. There we go then. 30 mil plus a smidge. Turn it down a bit. And wind away, Toe. Wind away. Right, there's our first bit. Oh, can't even undo that. Come on. That's hard. Pull that back a bit more. Can't get at it. That's it. Actually, that'll be that'll be uh, a nice snug fit. Back at the beginning. There. No, oh, in there. That's right. Still registering. Good. What do you say it was? How far? 30. 30 mil. 30 mil, you said. Probably on inches now. It says on inches. Convert to mils. That's not four millimeters, surely. It's more than that. That's more like 10 mil. What do you mean your quill right. numbers aren't right? And you can start on no again. Right, let's, let's zero it up. Bring it back to where I was. That'll do. Laying for the tip. Oh. That's it. Where you go. 30 mil. Douglas says, is it a good idea to rough up the shaft before gluing? Nah, no, never do that. No, I don't. I want to be able to get it off again if I don't like it, you know. Or if I break the handle or it splits with the heat or something stupid, you know. Like right, 30 and a half mil is good enough. Undo that. We should never well, really be a pull, I soak, pulling soak the end of my hand, or I soak, soak the hole. Then I use water as the lubricant to put the drill bit in, or the, the tool bit in, rather, not the drill bit. Think chuck out. Um, and when that dries, that grips just just as tight as can be. But if you ever want to take it again. off, then it's a it's a, um, a cinch to take off. You just go hammer it a bit. Yeah. There's, there's never really oh, any pulling force actually, on the steel that's, anyway, that's, is there? That's going to be... Uh, yeah, no, it's pulling it outwards. It's going to be fairly tight, so that's a good good sign. Yeah, that'd be great. Perfect. There we are. Right. Down to the ferrule. Where's the ferrule to? There it is. Ferrule. Measure ferrule. Ben points out that it's a good idea to clean the metal of any oil or carrot cake juice. 21 mil. <laughs> 21 mil. It is. 
Where's me? Oh, there it is. Looking for it. <coughs> Sets. Sets gauge to 21 mil. Uh, Joe's backstage, by the way. Good. We'll keep her there. I'm not. I'm here. Oh, are you? Are you? <laughs> Everybody, just to let you know, Brian's backstage. Yeah, how, did that, how, how did that happen? <laughs> how did what happen? Because I was backstage I before I we all started. Oh, before. yeah, I, got, I just noticed yeah, he, a message. He's, just, read, he's just, just now reading. Actually, that's no good there because that's too wide, that chisel. He's just, just reading the chat back that far. Jeez. No, I didn't. I'm just going to worry me, Brian. Hmm. That's like it. <laughs> Somebody has to find out if Brian's with us this week or next. Oh, dear, dear. Dear, 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 dear. But thank you for reading that out, Brian. That's okay. Douglas, no, I've never had a tool twist in the handle. It's never happened. Oh, look at that. Right, that's just. I don't want to pull that off quick and I'm going to stab my hand on that thing. Right, just a smidgen less than that, but that's fine. Because we can do that after we've taken it down to the right <laughs> diameter. Yeah, you can press that on anyway, with a piece of wood between yeah. the yeah, tailstock and the barrel. <laughs> right. There we go. Ferro. Pharaoh, baby, Pharaoh. One of my indulgences on uh, Saturday was the half inch version of that tool. Looking That's the one you got, was it? Yeah. Can't get in there with that. Yeah, looking forward to playing with that. I've got half yeah. inch skews here already, but they're the square edge old ones. So I'm looking forward to uh, replacing those with my new round edge one. Rolled edge, what they call it. Douching it. Mark that in. Nammer. You nammer. There's a question for all the metallurgists in the chat. I bought a whole bunch of um, turning tinsels from somebody who bought them brand new. Decided they didn't like turning and put them away. And they sat in a cold storage for a couple of years. And then I bought the whole lot. And several of the ferrules were cracked end to end. What calls that then? Hmm. Is that one in? I'm going to move. Oh. What were the Are brass they... ferrules? Yeah. Probably yeah. want to get that in there. Don't they were all brass ferrules, but there was a mixture of yeah. uh, Crown and, and Sorby and various others. Hmm. Every single one of them was cracked end to end. Is it? Strange. Yeah. And it's it puzzled me for years. I Are they so replaced them, so it's, it wasn't an issue, but... Were they solid brass or were they phosphorus brass? Um, again, they were brand new tools. I would imagine they were solid brass. Mm -hmm. But it was Sorby, Crown, Hamlet, and every single one was cracked end to end. Wow. Wow. The one expanded and cracked <laughs> But, um, I mean, the story of the tools, that they were bought and then they were stuck in storage for two years um, in one of these um, self-store places. And <laughs> sometime in that period of time, they, they cracked. Ben Always puzzled me just... as to why they would all do it. Ben's had a new ring tool arrive. So if you don't hear from him, they call 999. <laughs> You're expecting a little bit of trouble there, man. Uh, ring tools are grand. Mm -hmm. right then. Yep. Yeah, I'm I know how to go with one. They look interesting. 
Winning tools are lovely. Don't Sorby do one? They do, yeah. Yeah, I got one. Sorby and Crown, I think, are the only UK suppliers. One way also do that. They call it the termite over there. Mark says he's doing a, a, an end grain walnut bowl soon with a ring tool. I'll meet you at A and E. And Mark, you've been showing how to use your ring tool, and you know that they're easy. Mm -hmm. So, are we going to pinch Sorby's uh, shape here? Yeah, of course. of course. I always do. I like it. Yeah, me too. It's my preferred shape of handle. In fact, I even put the bone lines in the same because. Oh, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How much trouble you get into? I don't print Sorby when I'm in red. I mean, other than that. Have you have a laser now? You could. I could, yeah. Not in red. No, you could burn it in and fill it in with red. Yeah. What's, what's all this with lasers at the moment? Well, I've been out a long time, Joe. They're not all uh, I've had a laser for a long time, but I've now got a new one. Well, it's kind of the mustaves, isn't it? Yeah, it's still well, scary. Yeah. Well, absolutely. It's still scary things. Light shouldn't make things go on fire. You know when you um, have the magnifying glass and, and a mm -hmm. piece of paper and you set fire to it? Yeah. Well, when I put the laser on, I keep thinking I might be the piece of paper. <laughs> You're afraid that you become the piece of paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the ant. Or the ant, yeah. Oh, I, I can't believe anybody in this present company would terrorise poor, a poor ant with a magnifying glass. Yeah, I'm sure you never did it, did you, Brian? Nope. Did you not? You've been missing some fun, Brian. Yeah. That's not much fun for the ant. Stephen says, okay, Terry, I've got to go and eat. And watch All right, Stephen. Bye, buddy. Uh, he's not finished. And watch a paint drying video. It's a good watch, apparently. <laughs> you go and watch it, mate. What are you trying to say, Stephen? Thank you for coming in, Stephen, anyway. Appreciate it. See, what Terry's doing now is actually the favourite thing I ever turn in my workshop. What? what? Too long. It's handle. useful. <laughs> you are going to get to use that and hold that handle all the time. For ages. For years. <laughs> It's not an ornament that's going to just clutter up the shelf. It's going to be something that gets used all the time. And like you say, for years, once you put it on there, well, yeah, uh, spindle gauge or bolt gauge, maybe a year, but any any other tool, rest of your life, pretty much. Ben Jamin says, Terry, this handle's looking quite short. Yeah, it's, it's, spin, it's a spindle gauge, Ben. Doesn't need to be long. I don't, I don't, I don't like long spindle gauge handles. <laughs> that, of course, is the other beauty of making your own handles of whatever length you decide that they want to be. That's it. And if it ain't working for you, you can make another one. <clears throat> Just see if that's the right feel now. See if it feels nice. Alex, the wooden things has just joined us. Good, off. Good Hi, evening, Alex. Alex. Hi, Alex. Hmm. Uh, Andy Woodward says, I've been watching there. from the start, but I kept falling asleep. Well, oh, okay. Man. We noticed that, Andy, don't worry. Sunday evening after Sunday evening after dinner was our favourite time to fall asleep. A little bit thinner there, it's a bit fat. Just a bit. Better. And what you want is uh, two burn lines on the apex yeah. of the front curve, 
one burn line at the um, base of the cove, <laughs> and another two at the back end of the. Uh... There's it one here. Yeah, two there. And there we go. Ring. One in the middle. Then a brass oh, ring on the end. One there. Yeah, brass stud on the end. Yeah. Two there. Two at the end. Yeah. <clears throat> now it's a copyright infringement. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> no, it hasn't a steep enough curve on the end of the handle. It doesn't matter anyway. They didn't have the advanced answer in the handles, did they? Brian Elton here with the Madeira's in. Oh, Hello, Brian. Brian. Hi, Brian. I'm not breaking copyright because they haven't got, I haven't got Robert Sorby written on it. It's true. It's, it's the shape of the handle I like. <laughs> I did get asked uh, the other day if all my tools were Sorby tools. Um, Most of mine are, actually. <laughs> thinking about it. Well, I've got Hammer, I've got Crown, I've got Ashley Isles, I've got more yeah. up there, but... Um, well, I've got, uh, yeah, and I've got a few... All the um, are pretty much the same. What are those? I've got a few, um... Blimey, me, what's that one called? Henry Taylor's, I've got a couple of those. I've got a couple of Record Powers, most of them Robert Sorby, a couple of Crown ones, and a couple of Seaman Opegs. That works. All right. Sandpaper. Glass paper. Start at one twenty a day, wouldn't it? Start at that. Oh, don't hit the pharaoh, Terry. You're not supposed to hit the pharaho. I would have thought you probably one eighty from the, from the skew. But... Yeah, I was going. It was honestly shiny, but there are a couple of two lines in it, which I thought I'll just use this to get rid of it. I might have to take that back a bit more because I can't get in there to part it off. I also be flat, which it won't matter. I could sand it up on uh, on the sander, can I? So, yeah, let's drop me pencil. Now, where'd that go? Ah, oh, the, the back end of the handle you don't hold anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No, I don't. I'm not really worried about it. Actually, could that, could be flat. That, would mark. that stand up better in the uh, in the holder if it's flat? <clears throat> that means I'm gonna have to buy another blinking what's the name? And I, yep, chuck buddy thing is in there. Mm -hmm. There's another because uh, I now I've got more tools hands. on it. So I need another chuck buddy hand on uh, thing, you know, Steve. In, in. What's, what one do you want? Spindle gouge or gouges? Free gouges. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Let me know what you want. I'll bring up Friday. All right, mate. Just, 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 the, just the ordinary gouges ones, I think, because I. I've still got this. I've got another spindle gauge which I don't put in there. It didn't fit, which I put in the cupboard. Which I probably don't use that anyway. But there's this one, and I got a new three eighth one. Three eighth one. I already put an handle on it. That one done. What's that? That's two one eighty two forty two forty. Where's that? There it is. Roger Kent's just joined us. Hi, Roger. Roger. Hello, Roger. Roger the Dodger. I've got four handles I need to make from uh, tools I bought the weekend. That's your net. Am I sorted then? Yep. I don't do loads, Terry. Oh, that's your, your next stand in then. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done before then. Yeah, you're not, you're not away until um, February of next year. So. <laughs> 400 I want there, don't I really? I'm not going to grit that. I'm just going to fall under it. I think I'll get some. If I can find it. I might not have any here. Good evening, Hi, Lewis. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Good evening. Got the windows Welcome done, aboard, yeah. buddy. Yeah, you finished the windows, buddy? He's been making windows all day, apparently.
There's an invite you can't refuse, Pete. Brian, you're going to rub that 400 over that feral just to finish that off? Yeah, Mark, um, yeah, I might do. I thought I'd leave it yeah, there until somebody's OCD would work. Yeah, you the 14th, <laughs> Which is next Tuesday. Are you going to put a finish on this, Terry? Uh, I might do. I don't know. Yeah, it'll get tarnished. I want to keep it the same color, don't I? I'll just I give it go for an oil finish on mine, but no, I'll just give it a coat of uh, sandy sealer and a bit of amateur sheen to do it, yeah. just to make it look nice. Yeah. So, what's the uh, the best thing for finishing a handle? Do you think? Danish oil is good. Yeah, I like an oil finish, a drying oil finish. Yeah, um, so Danish, Danish is quite oil nice. Oil. Anything that polymerizes, so lemon oil, Danish oil. I was going to Danish oil, it, but it just can't be bothered. If I was in America and it was commonly available, I'd probably use boiled linseed oil, but we don't get that over here. I've got loads of boiled linseed oil paint here, not so. Yeah, we don't, get, <laughs> we don't get it as a normal, though, do we? No. No, I just got this it for oil painting. Works brilliant for that. That is, you no, know, it's uh, it's laburnum, is it? Or do you use this. you? It's you. you. This is you. It's you. Yeah. It is you. This. Yep. And he has the windows done, and they're in the shop for paint. Oh, oh sorry, Lewis. Did I forgot? Is that I forgot the email you say? Bit of you. Uh, yeah, weed stuff we got growing here. Look, uh, I just put that on to make a tool handle. Just you know, yes. weed, weed stuff. Sorry, Lewis. It's just everywhere I know, here, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we're we're knocking it back out of the way because it's so so invasive. It's a word. Susie's asked a question. Oh, go on, Joe. Go on, no, Susie. go on. Stay. No, you no, you tried twice. Go for it. Go on. <laughs> Why She's does tried burnishing... twice, Steve. Go on. <laughs> Why does burnishing with wood shavings not scratch the turned piece? Uh, the shavings it can. surely have sharp edges on them. No. Not the way I'll do it, to, the delicate and fluffy. You have to be careful which wood you use for burnishing yeah. the shavings. Mm -hmm. U is soft, although it's classed as a hardwood. And it's got its natural oils, which then burnishes and shines it. No, U isn't classed as a hardwood, it is a softwood. Oh, it's a softwood. I mean, but it, it is it's classed soft as a hardwood. It's hard, Daddy. Yeah, softwood, it's hard, I mean, sorry. It's a very hard softwood. Something like that. I knew it was something like that. You know. Like but you lot are on me, hard. Easy, easy mistake to make, Daddy. I don't care. It's just a bit I'm old enough. I'm old enough to say I can make it. Douglas Mungham says, oh, that's, a, that's a, a great thing, don't worry, Terry. I have a fair Isn't it? Old red spiral grip. Well, if, if your handles are under 40 millimeters, Douglas, they'll fit in the holders. I do. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying it, you can't buy boiled linseed, linseed oil in this country. You get it from art shops. But um, mm. it's just not a preferred oil. No. Yeah. We've got better better options, so we prefer not to use it. Correct. Terry? Yeah, I'm there, Pete. I'm there, mate. Yeah, it's only 20 past, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Glenn's fault. He made me drink too much Doom Bar. <laughs> so you wean yourself off, are you, Pete? Yeah, it can take a while. It can take a while. You, you, have you ever heard the expression, you can take a horse to water? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been weaning himself off for the last two years of doing my. Yeah, he's he's down to only 20 tins a day now. <laughs> I just ordered um, two cases. Unfortunately, it's not getting here until the 18th. <sighs> well, that's on the next I, weekend. I gave Roy a hand with uh, his internet connections um All right. and he paid me in doom bar which is the accepted currency <laughs> yeah so thank you very much roy you've supplied the doom bar for this evening that's a better exchange rate bro you've done well yeah <laughs> parting tool Hugh is in Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Um, do you have to update these? Yeah, just download the app, Roy, and that'll, 
that'll update itself whenever there's an update come in. Right, close to the wind here. Look, I've got to constipate on this. Yeah. <clears throat> See, what you really should have there is a fluted parting tool. Isn't that right, Brian? Not even that. Yeah, that's it's exactly so, uh, what you should have. I think it's getting loose in there now. I'll probably cut it out, cut it all. Away. I think you better. Yeah, that'll be all right. Careful, That's done. I know I've gone far enough because what I can do now is sand, take it out. Sand the rest off. Sand the rest off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take it out of there. Give that a quick bounce on the edge. Mm -hmm. Or capture the fiddle in your chuck. Hey, capture your fiddle and the chuck and do it from the other end. Yeah, I was going to, but uh, I just cut it off here. It's easier. Lou said that's a shiny candle candle holder. Skinny. <laughs> Skinny, yeah. That is a perfect size for a spindle gauge. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, gentleman wants to know, Terry. Yes, will Ben. Will be doing the giveaway for this tool today or on the next slide? Uh, probably when I reach one million subscribers. <laughs> Another tool. Yep. <coughs> Just for you, Ben. <laughs> Lose out the way a minute. And Huey's joined us. Huey of the Lionheart. Hello, Hubert. Nice to have you aboard, buddy. Thank you for calling in. Of course, this being Sunday night, we will have uh, a 90% sure premiere from Wayne and JP later on. <sighs> I have a video coming out too. And Brian's got one as well, yeah? I've got a video, it's not a problem. No, they're all got one coming out. What's going on here? Just a video, right? Just a video. Mm -hmm. right, so the I right think, you, I think you need a bit bigger sanding board for that little handle. No, this is just made up for it. This is made up for all sanding reasons. So, put that on there just in case. I need to. Dink, do dink. Ding, 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 ding. Move that over there, out of the way. Slide tail stock back out of the way. Right. Steve's going to have one of these soon. Not for, Not for sanding. Not for sanding now, but... Special plate. You mean you didn't buy two face plates so you can make a sanding one? No, I don't need a sanding one. That was careless. No, I don't. Right, just kick out a little notch off now at the end. He's got a lot of sand there. He doesn't need one on his Red. Can you see that all right now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. Overhead. No, no, we can't see it. Is that sticky back or Velcro? That's better. Velcro. So you can change them. Susie said, why is all the premieres so late at night? It's um, because they're catching the American market as well. It's a premiere. You don't have to watch the premiere. You can watch it the next day. You watch it next day, can you? Yeah. I often don't catch them because I'm busy with other things. So I quite often catch them the next day. So Andy, the woodward owner, asked a serious question. Did you drill after fitting the ferrule or before? Before he fitted the ferrule. Before. I drilled before. If you'd have been awake, Andy, you'd have seen. Yeah. <gasps> Lazy so-and-so you are. <laughs> Andy was you drill it before and then you put your um, 60 degree cone centre back into the middle of it. Um, that holds it all square. So the ferrule, the hole, everything is lined up. Right. And Stephen is back because Grandma Wood Jude made lasagna for everyone. Ooh, he's he's 
I won't. I had spaghetti bolognese for my tea. Did you? I made, I made it myself. I'd rather you sandwich. than me. I don't like spaghetti bolognese. Oh, I love it. Can't stick it. <laughs> Terrible stuff. Uh, right, there we are. I hate to, I hate to be a bit for a bad news, uh, Kev. There's actually four airworms. Yeah, indeed there is. You so need to you, wake up a bit there, Kev. So if you're going to criticise, you need to get your facts correct, mate. Okay. <laughs> right, this is not hammered in yet, people, because I'm going to I'm going to have to uh, glue it. I don't know why I'm actually. If you put up. that, if you put that in a vice, and just yeah. uh, tap the handle on. That'll be as solid as a rock. It will. Yeah. Chuck a bit of water in there to, to act as a lubricant to put it on with. Yeah. And then once that dries, that's it ain't going nowhere. Oh, that's, that's better. Shape. That's perfect. That's perfect there. Woo! <laughs> right, so it's gone. I'm going to knock that in later on. I won't do it now. Just to show you what I've made today. That. Uh, where are we? Camera. That one. I'm always wide awake, Kevin. Easy, always. easy, easy. Don't let that roll off there and damage your hands. Just, just wasn't paying attention. Very nice. Lovely. Nice job. Pretty useless yeah. box, which you don't want. Uh, lovely box. I'm going to put it back on yet to uh, do the rest yeah. of this. I'm not going to do it live. So. Undo said screw. How do you spell it? Maparney? Maparmy? No R. No R. No, Maparmy. 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 It's a lovely piece of wood. Is it hard? Is it hard, Terry? Uh, really, really hard. It's as hard really. as African black wood. But yeah, it is, yeah. but it turns lovely, beautiful, you know, like... Um, it, it actually turns better than African black wood. It, it it's obviously got an oil in it. it uh, black wood is lacking. It's got that oil sort of... Um, yeah, it's got its own sort of oil in cheek it. Cheek or olive, like... Oh, really nice. It's really nice. There we are. That's today's efforts, people. That short, quick... Quick... And if you want to see the Easy. first part of that bowl turned, it's on Terry's list. He did it last yeah. Monday. The first part of the uh, box was on, on last Monday. And the threading part of it was all last Monday. So I, can, I didn't want to do another threading part again today because I'm too busy. So. And he's having got home from the weekend. <clears throat> Sits on Hobbit's chair. Hobbit's chair. Now the wood <laughs> Looks at the camera. Two more panels. <laughs> The Hobbit's chair. The Hobbit's chair. <laughs> it's a bouncy one. Like it's one of those you said. Like was... <laughs> right. Hopefully, a yeah. couple of weeks' time, this lot here will be gone. This is my insulated log cabin, which is going part of it anyway. The other 600 metres of it is out there in the garden covered over. Just as well, because you want your bench back, really. I want my bench back, I do, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there we are, people. That's uh, that's that's something you've... Uh, my like friends are back in with me. Here we are. Oh, no, no, uh, no, thank you, everybody. Um, oh, by the, by the way, I suppose I better. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ben, for coming in today. <laughs> um, you're 60. Nice to see you. Although you're late, they will say. Hello, Barry Swood Creation. This is just Mike Walt because you're all going to get used to this, and you really. I'll do 10 minutes at the end. And Huey Lionheart, it's lovely to see you. Long time. Right. That's the end of Mike Waltz's episode. Go back to that. <laughs> Sits back on chair. Poor Mike. He's not Poor old Mike. He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> if, he watches this, he's, if he watches this, he's probably not going to do another life. <laughs> we won't have me as in your room anyway. Oh, right, people. Thank you so much for coming in today. Now, if you like what you see, of course, you know what to do. Come back next time. If you don't, well, we'll see it again. Nice knowing you. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Grandma Ruth Tube says, "What's she got now?" Good, but you have until nine, or the cake will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe, I'll be in in a minute. Usual thing. <laughs> Get yourself ready. I was promised her a massage after her live. She likes it. You know, calms Jesus. her down. Jesus. Right. Uh, that's time to go then, because I've only got another half an hour to chat with these lot in the green room afterwards. The green room. An in to the green analyze room. to analyze all you lot <laughs> so if you like what you saw thanks so much i'll see you next sunday um if you don't know thanks everybody
And, don't forget, uh, just quickly, just quickly, don't forget anybody who wants to send me hashtag pictures, they have to be with me by Friday. Oh, yes, yes, do that. Did I send you one, Pete? Can't remember. Uh, Steve? No, no, I don't think What I was it? Yet. What was it? Two, two part, pieces, wasn't it? Two, two part. part. Oh, two part, there's mine. Um, I'll photograph yeah. this. Fine. I'll photograph this. I'll send you an old pic, Steve, because I, I um, That's fine. I'll photograph the box. We've got a few two things cropped up this week, though, going to keep me a bit busy. But yeah. I'm going to do a, a two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen parter. A fifty parter. Fourteen parter. That's me finish that's me not doing anything for the next fourteen weeks. Well done, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> yeah, Kev, I've got yours. Okay, well I'll put that box in, Steve, I expect. Yeah, whatever, mate, whatever. It doesn't matter, I've just got two parts, it doesn't matter what it is. Oh hang on, people, I've got to show you this as well. Ooh. That was that box. Uh and I forgot to actually email the man. That box was for Dane Chandler. What? Dane, you might know or remember. Mick Stratton. Yep. Uh, yes. What's his name? His um, memorial fund we're all getting for was to make boxes for a hospice. And Dane um, commissioned me to make two boxes with threads in. So where are we? That one there. Headstock. That's the first one. Just move that tool out of the way. That's the second one, sorry. And that's the first first one I did for him. And they will be. That's the other one. African Blackwood and Boxwood. African Blackwood yeah. and Boxwood. And I'll give them another buff up before I send them. Oop. And those will be posted off to the hospice now. Well, in relatively short time. I'm just going to. Get this end right and repolish it. So I want a nice and shiny, buffed up. Send it back to him. And that's his. And I'll give him a. Uh, I should give him a uh, email to say I've done the two, and he can go on and watch the, that video. He's already saw this one. He's delighted with it. Uh, thanks, Dane, Dane, for commissioning me to do that. But um, I would have done it for nothing. But he insisted he bought the timber, so he's bought it. Grand job. And uh, and I yeah. hope I've done it. I hope I'm done him justice by making that for uh, for for um, the hospice. Right. So ah, uh, they're all right, Terry. They'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah they'll be all right. right. Yeah, they'll be around. You could have tried harder, but yeah. The question is to be or not to be. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Miller's actually said that Dan's been having some kidney problems. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, him been oh, too yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, I'm been too well. So, but you know, he's our he's in our Zoom group. I mean, so. I shall tell him the next time. I'm giving the the links to this uh, to this video and the one on Monday, um, and then he can pop in and watch it if he wants to. But the job's done for him, and I'm delighted with it. And I still got to make a few more boxes because oh, I've already put three or four in, but I'll put some more in as well. And there we are. Okay, oh, lovely. Off as well. So uh, excellent. Say goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Say hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. So, see you next time, Steve. See you next time, Steve. Say, so, Limpy Brian. <laughs> nope. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you another day. See you later, folks.